Hey guys, today I'm going to talk you through how to make this beautiful salmon dish. It's charred salmon marinated in pomegranate molasses on whipped spiced sweet potato with a beautiful herb dressing. So the first thing we're going to do is just get our potatoes on. Obviously salmon and sweet potatoes match made in heaven. So I've just cut my potatoes into equal sized portions and they just go in cold water and you bring that up to the boil. Make sure that you start off with cold water as it ensures that they cook equally. Um, good amount of salt in the water and we'll just leave this for about 12 minutes until they really start to soften up. So while the sweet potatoes are cooking, we can get on to making the rest of the dish. This is such an incredible piece of salmon. I mean, look how beautiful it is. Obviously delivered straight to my door from fish to your door, which is such a great service. The quality is phenomenal. So you can do this all in a tray bake. Um, however, I'm only serving two people tonight. So I'm just going to show you a portion for two people and leave the rest for tomorrow because I'm going to make salmon fish cakes. Beauty of salmon, the versatility of it. So again, portions is all personal preference. I like to serve about a couple of inches each. We're marinating our salmon in pomegranate molasses, but that, because of the high sugar content, burns really quickly. But we want to create a really gorgeous, crisp chard outside. So in here, I've just got some cornstarch, some brown sugar, and some salt. We put that on the top, just literally sprinkle it over. And then we pan fry it just to get that beautiful charredness. And then we add the pomegranate molasses and just put it in the oven. And I have found this is the best way to create a kind of bittersweet caramel on the outside, which works so well with salmon. So take a little bit of oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to put them skin side up. And the oven is just preheated to 200 degrees. And then we're going to roast it at the end. So they just go straight in. You'd hear a lovely, beautiful sizzle. Right. And then we just flip these over, add our pomegranate molasses, just drizzle over, and then that goes in the oven for about eight minutes. I love to keep my salmon beautifully clean in the middle. If you like it a little bit more cooked, you can go in for 10 minutes. Obviously, it's dependent on the salmon filling. Let's get this into the oven. So while the salmon is just beautifully charring away in the oven, just drained our sweet potatoes and just want to mash them into a really beautifully smooth paste. And then what we're going to do is just crush some garlic, add a little bit of sumac and some cumin and leave that on a really slow heat while we make our little minty, herby drizzle. The thing about sweet potato is it mashes so beautifully. So take a good amount of salt and then we're going to just crush up a garlic clove. And what that does, it just allows it to really slow cook within the heat of the sweet potatoes and just really infuses and works so well. And then we're going to add a little bit of cumin, a little bit of sumac, that just goes straight in and put it on a low heat. I'm going for about, I'm going for a two and then take a whisk and just whip it all together. And that will just create a beautifully smooth puree. All aspects are basically done now. Everything's just waiting to be beautifully cooked. Our slow potatoes are slow cooking for the garlic to really infuse. So we can get on with making the herb dressings. In here, I've got parsley, mint, and coriander. Equal amounts of all of them, so they just go in. You can use a food processor or a nutri just whatever you've got, or you know, if you don't have any of the above, you can chop, chop, chop away. Your best friend when cooking fish is the citrus, and I always love to add a little bit of zest because it just adds that extra dimension of flavour. Juice of a lemon, garlic clove and a good glug of olive oil. And then we just blitz our uh, color of this. I love contrasting colors on a plate. It just makes it look so much more inviting. As you can see, it's just created a beautiful caramel on the salmon fillet, which is going to work incredibly well with the sweet potato and the herbs. Let's plate up. Take a good amount of the sweet potato. And 
and then because we've got the sweetness of the potato and the pomegranate molasses, I'm just gonna sprinkle a few barberries, which have got that incredible sour pop of flavor. You just go around the outside, a little differentiation in texture. We've got the pistachios, which also gives that hit of green. Just a little bit of dressed parsley on top. And we take our herby sauce, which smells so phenomenal, and just drizzle. One final touch, just a beautiful bit of lemon zest. 